Foam roller flow for a warm up. Start with upper back. So put the hands behind your head. And you're going to roll the upper back to about mid back, just below the shoulder blades. Hands supporting the neck. Open the chest. Stop before you roll onto the cervical spine. From here, we're going to put the roller just under the shoulder blades. Extensions over. Come down nice and slow. Keep the belly button pushed down. Move the foam roller a little bit. Coming back down as far as you can. One more here. Back to rolling. Keep the weight on the heels, don't let the knees go over the toes. From here we're going to go onto a glute roll. So sit on top of the foam roller. Ankle on the opposite knee. And we're going to rotate to this side. So the knee is bent on the side that we're rolling. Work over the whole glute muscle, finding any knots and painful spots, deep breaths. So I'm rotating out to the outside of the hip, coming back into the middle until I find a spot that's a little bit uncomfortable. Now I'm going to switch other side. So again, I'm rotating my body towards the side of the glute that I'm rolling, which is the side of the bent knee. Rolling up and down. Applying more body pressure, more weight on the foam roller. Rotating a little bit to get a little bit deeper past the superficial glute muscles. From here, we're going to come off the foam roller, put it between the legs, we're going to do a hip three set. So from here, knees bent, I'm going to squeeze the foam roller together, so I'm applying pressure here. Squeeze five seconds, one, two, three, as hard as I can. Relax. Now I'm going to put it down, I'm going to do a glute bridge. So hands touching heels, foam roller in between the legs, coming up into the glute bridge. As I do, I gently squeeze back down. Ribs down, belly button down, coming up, squeezing at the top, gently applying pressure to the foam roller. Hold it at the top, now I'm squeezing the glutes, shouldn't feel it in the lower back, down, reset, pushing the ribs down, coming up, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the legs together. From here I'm going to go into hip internal rotation, so put the foam roller up between the legs, and from here I'm just going to slightly Take the foot out, away from the foam roller, and the same on the other side. So here we're working internal rotation of the hip. So it's just a small movement, just a micro movement to the side. If you do have tight internal rotators, the range of motion will be a little bit limited. So feel it working on the hip. One foot out, the other out. From here, take the foam roller, bring it in front of you. Thoracic roller. So keep the bum in the air. Rolling the foam roller along the side of the hand, down onto the forearms. So here, I'm pushing my chest to the floor, getting a nice stretch on my upper and mid back, on the T-spine. Here I'm really applying pressure on the forearms so that I'm feeling it on my scapulas. From here we're going to do side rotation, so we're going to put the foam roller at the side, hand over, and I'm going to roll this way, bringing my head down. So as I take the foam roller across, I bring the head in the same direction. So we're adding a nice rotation, stretching the lats, stretching the back of the shoulder, I take it as far over as I can, putting my head on the floor. Repeat on the other side. Got 
take the forearm roller out so my arm is extended, coming down with the head. Roll the back in centre. We're going to roll the hamstrings. So foam roller, hands and knee, bring it all the way up to where it ties into the glutes. And I'm going to rotate my legs so I'm hitting all three hamstring heads. So rotate more into the inner thigh in the centre. And then on the other side, rolling down just above the knee. Again, looking for any tight spots. I'm going to switch sides. Again, bringing the leg over, rotating it in, back to the center. So you can get out to the side, so rotating my foot out. Last roll, lats, so we're going to be on our side, bring the foam roll under the armpit, leg straight, other leg is bent so you can apply pressure. So here I'm just staying underneath the armpit in the meaty part here, and I'm rotating forward and back. So as I go back I'm hitting the rotator cuff muscles. Slow movements, coming as far forward as you can, and back. Switch sides. So arm is facing forward, thumb is pointing up, using my leg to apply pressure. Rolling under the armpit. Hitting the lat and now I'm rotating a little bit forward and back. And finish with a roll.